Kita. 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 Wake up. It's time. It's time, Kita. Time for what, you ask? Time for Let's Play Elden Ring Kita Edition! <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's do this thing. So, uh, that was actually a suggestion for the intro uh, by... Hold on. Uh, Hockey Mike. So, thank you for the suggestion. Thought it'd be fun to do. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the Crystal Knight and take him on. I guess I could equip a shield and try parrying just to see how that does, because I'm curious. So, I'll do that, because um, I've actually never tried with him. Don't judge me too hard for not being Parry Master PP. Uh, hold on. Wait a second. Are none of my... The Buckler should automatically have it. Alright, I'll do it, Buckler. All right, I'm going to give it a shot. Like I said, I've actually never once tried it before, so uh, go easy on me, please. Go easy on me. Okay, well, I can't parry that guy. Okay, I can't parry that either. I'm sure I can't parry these. These are probably too powerful strikes. Hold on, let me, let me take this fight somewhere else. I don't like this path <laughs> I'm on. Okay. I'm so used to dodging at this point, it's going to be very weird. Okay, that's a dodge one no matter what. Again, this is, I think I have to dodge that one. I don't really think I have a choice in the matter. Alright, that was the one I wanted to parry. Oh, late, late, late. Hey, look at that. Nice. Sick. Probably a good way to try to take him on, I would guess. Alright, you can actually get a hit in there when he does that, so might as well. Alright, let me get a heal. Now he's gonna be an annoying asshole with the tail. <laughs> Not all of them have tails either, but yeah, this this one does. So oh god, I'm gonna die, aren't I? Yep. Good start. Oh god. How did I survive? I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have. It's okay. I died like I should have. Don't forget to uh, put the lift back up. I forgot the first time and kind of a bit of a hassle, to be honest. Alright. All right, come meet me in the arena. We're gonna fight here. This is our arena. I won't have it any other way. Thank you for doing the shield. And hey, nice, right into a parry. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Although honestly, I'm not used to it, so it might screw me up a little bit trying to go for it. But yeah, it does seem pretty nice. All right, I can get an attack in there. I'll do that. I'll take that attack opportunity. Oh crap, I forgot about the tail. I, like, honestly, I, like, completely forgot I even had that move. Okay. The nice thing about that is it actually gives you a chance to heal. So I actually don't mind when he does that thing. Because, yeah, it is a good heal opportunity. Are you going to do the one, two? Yes, he is. Oh crap, oh crap. Okay. Now what? Oh. You're just letting me heal, huh? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I was I was recovering slowly anyways, but I'll still take it. Oh, God. And he's going to do the one, two. One, two. Cool. Honestly, I could just go take him out right now. If I wasn't being such a baby. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Don't take me out now, please. That would suck a lot. I guess I'll just be uh, smart. <laughs> Oh, that was a lot closer than I wanted it to be. That was really scary. Aspects of the Crucible Horns. Let's take a look at that. Um, we got tail before, now horns. So. Creates a mighty horn on the caster's shoulder to gore, fo to gore foes from a low stance. One of the ancient Urtree incantations. So these guys are related to the Urtree a lot. The Crucible Knights are very Urtree related. 
Uh, this is a manifestation of the Earth Tree's primal vital energies, an aspect of the primordial crucible, where all life once blended together. Same thing that we got there, but... Uh, charging allows the caster to bear on the foes before delivering the final attack. Sick. I'm gonna check to see if there's any fall-offs here that I'm missing. I don't think there are, but I'm just gonna double-check. I'm also pretty sure last time I got that item that was over there. Yeah, I did. Okay. So I don't have to worry about that, which is nice. Uh, yeah, and then let's go ahead and go over to the lift chamber and start progressing through that part. And I know I 100% missed uh, a fall somewhere, but that's okay for now. All right. I'm going to go to the lift side chamber, which is right here. And uh, yeah, I'll keep on, keep on making my way through to Godric, but probably not take him on yet. Uh, we're probably going to go through that door first. And also, we have to, uh... Actually, something I've been wanting to check out that I heard about, this is a good test, is, uh, I'm gonna switch this with Margit's Shackle. I wanna see if it works on just general omens. Wait, did I buy Margit's Shackle? I forgot if I did. Uh, oh, I didn't buy it. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> I thought I bought it. I was curious to see if it would work on the omen down there, but, um... Okay. Since that is the class of enemy that's down there. Well, I guess I'll deal with it another time. Instead, I'm going to deal with more of these damn birds. Oh, that that happened. Yeah, these are the higher level ones. So that's cool. That's cool. I love these guys so much. At least, like, this kind of does stun them. This sword's a lot better against them than I ever thought it would be. Oh, what? why won't you let me get your item? Let me take it, please. There we go. Stormhawk Feathers. I appreciate it. Thank you. And, uh, okay. Let me make sure there's nothing over here. And if not, I'm going to go talk to Nefeli Lu and get a Golden Seed. One of two in Stormvale. So, how many do I have now? Two. Oh, so I can... I don't even need to go to the Tree Spirit. That's good. That's good, but let's talk to Nefeli Lu. You were a fine warrior. Your only mistake was your choice of master. Let the winds lift you to a higher place. Okay, so remember how there was Hara Lu or something like that, the Chieftain Lu from the beginning? I'm assuming that this is his daughter. Well, who do we have here? Tarnished, are you? Clearly not one of Godric's lot. I am Nefeli Lu. Tarnished and warrior like you. I'm here by decree of my father. How utterly repellent this is. This grafting of Godric's ill befits a lord. He's tainted the very winds. Uh, oh, I agree. I agree. If you intend to challenge Godric, I ask you call upon me. The winds run foul with his deeds. I'm certain father would permit me aid the fight. Apologies, but I've idled long enough. As fellow tarnished, we must each follow our own guidance. Down whatever road takes us to the throne of Elden Lord. This does make me wonder if every tarnished sees a different path of guidance. Her saying that, right? Apologies. As fellow down uh, Yeah, I actually do wonder about that. Alright, well, thanks for the, the thoughts, Nefeli. I'm gonna move on. Once you... I don't know if you have to talk to her. I'm assuming you do. To make her summon sign appear. But now her summon sign has appeared, so. Uh, yeah, worth talking and mentioning. Okay, so the reason I wasn't attacking that guy, A. Oh, I actually didn't know he killed that guy for us. Thank you, G Troll. Uh, main reason I'm trying to get him is, you know, you saw the, the thing before that needed to be broken, and he can break it for us. I don't think the omen can. I think we need this guy to do it for us, so I'm just pouring him over to do it. Okay, you come over this way, please. Uh, by my omen friend. Well, actually, I can backstab, so I'm gonna do that. And let's see if he can take this out for us. Oh, cool, he actually hurts the omen for us. That's nice, actually. Although, really, I just want him to break this statue for us, which he hasn't done yet. Break the statue. Oh, there it is. Alright, thank you. And now, I'll let him take out the dog for us. <laughs> Or the dog, the omen. 
Nice. Alright. A uh, whole bunch of smithing stone ones and a smithing stone two. So pretty nice haul. All in all. Yeah, if we get him dropped once, he should be done. So... Oh, did he just take out his sword? Uh, yes, he did. That's not good. I say that because, because of that, really. <laughs> I honestly didn't think I'd die that quickly to him. I thought I'd be fine, but uh, shows what I know. All right, another quick cut. See you guys in a moment. Yeah, so apparently this is the episode where I'm going to be dying a lot. Oh, I also forgot to go into here, so I'm kind of glad I ran back through. I probably would have noticed, though, coming back anyways earlier for a nice smithing stone too. Alright, let's wake this guy up again, and this time I'll try to take on the troll a little bit better. Alright, whatever. I, I can deal with that. Let's see if I can drop him this time. Yes, but unfortunately he went into an area where I can't do my critical on him, so that's nice. Thank you. Not that you can't still, like, get some nice hits on him, but it, it's always annoying to me when that happens in this. Oh. Oh. For a moment, I thought he was going to get me. Oof. Scary. Alright, you going to drop anything from me? Buddy? Pal? No? Okay. Yeah, it's interesting that there's this shortcut that exists to go back because there's a site of grace right here. So it's an interesting choice to me. I don't understand how they decided on some of these, but Godric's going to be through there. Uh, first thing I'm going to do, though, is run and get this Ash of War. Where he's going to lead me up to uh, some pot boys. Oh, crap. No, no, stop running so far. Okay, Stormcaller, I'm gonna remember that, or I'm gonna do my best to remember that while the hot boy wakes up. You know what? Actually, uh, might as well just do this for him. Why not? Oh god. You know, the thing, honestly, with him, that's pretty easy, and I know it's cheap. I know that. Wait a second, I should be able to stun him, actually, now that I think about it. Uh, I just remember that the Great Sword can do that, or Ultra Great Sword. The th we get raw meat dumpling and living shard from him, jar shard, which... Raw meat dumpling. I'm gonna try to remember this. Raw meat dumpling, living jar shard. Raw meat dumpling, living jar shard. Okay. Raw meat dumpling, living jar shard. Really? Oh, okay. Raw meat dumpling, a pungent raw meatball made succulent by virtue of being on the verge of turning. Uh, it restores your HP, but also poisons you. Not recommended for those who prefer to know the origin of their meats. That's so funny. Ah. Uh, and then a living jar shard, which should have been in the other one, I thought. Um, hmm. That's weird. <laughs> I'm going to try one more time to see if I find it. Living jar shard. Wait a second. There it is. A uh, fragment of a living jar hardened after its death. Material used for crafting items. Such fragments command a high price due to the magical power locked within. This leaves the living jars unfortunate targets for poachers. And I did get that Ash of War. I think it was Stormcaller, right? Oh man. Too many things at once. Uh, Stormcaller, one of the skills that channels the Tempest of Stormvale. Yeah, that sounds right. Uh, so... Yeah, okay. So that, I guess that's it. It channels the power of Stormvale. We get a cracked pot, which is for crafting. So let's go ahead and look at our cracked pot. The empty pot somehow mends itself when broken. Essential vessel for crafting cracked pot items. The, the material and magic seal within deploy their effects when the pot is thrown. And also, another cracked pot. 
you always find crackpots around these guys. Or always, like, at least I'm pretty sure, if not at least typically. Uh, yeah, and that's actually really pretty much what's over here as far as I'm aware. Because now we're just going to get the lift side shortcut. So, I find it to be a little odd, again, that, that this is the shortcut that they decide. Oh, sh I thought I just killed myself. <laughs> I was trying to see if I had a light roll or not since I'd equipped that buckler, or medium roll, I should say. And I do, but uh, that was a little scary. <laughs> and stupid of me. Still can't go through here, so let's go ahead and now take the other route I talked about. Which is going to take us to a nice mini boss. Smithing Stone 1. This really is probably going to be the episode of deaths, I am sure. Alright. And I lost the heal. That's cool. <laughs> Smithing Stone 2. Uh, you actually can run up there, uh, which I guess might as well just do and show off, but I don't think there's anything here, if I'm not mistaken. So there's really no reason to do it. And I've tried hitting the walls before. It's just interesting I can't. I guess there's a bat. A couple bats. So Batman's hanging out here. Okay. Okay. Now I created this predicament for myself where I have to make this leap or I lose all my runes. All right. Fortunately, now I have to deal with these bats. And they're not really typically hard. It's just I just wasn't doing well. Okay, I'd say that and I'm probably going to I thought I'd die again after saying that. Which would have been excellent. Excellent. So I guess that's what you do there. You go take on some bats. All right. And, yeah, let's keep working our way down. Downtown Casanova. Golden Rune 2. Very nice. I'm going to put on my lantern, actually. And just because it's not so dark, I really feel like I need to switch to the lantern. The lamp, I mean. Oh, yeah. A bunch of rats down here, which is great. Oh, wait. What? I didn't... That's awesome. Hey, at least that worked out, I guess. Oh my god! Close to death again. Alright, I'm gonna take my wondrous physic at this point. So I don't have to waste so many Estus. I was hoping to use them against the uh, the boss down here, but you know, maybe the effect will still be in place by then. Alright. Let's see the poison bloom. I can't remember if there's poison down here or not. The fact that we're finding poison bloom hints to the fact that there might be, unfortunately. Rancor Call. I'm going to look at that later because right now I've got this effect on that I would like to have for the boss. Uh, mini boss guy. So right now I'm just going in circles, but was just double checking. All right. Let's take on a tree spirit. Can't wait. Can't wait. Smoldering Butterfly. Oh, what? I was early, but... I'm mad at myself, really. That's why I was like, what? <laughs> it wasn't that I wasn't supposed to get hit. I was just more annoyed with myself. Yeah, it's funny because, like, targeting this guy, a lot of times you won't be able to see what's going on, but it really does make dodging easier for him, I find, personally. So, yeah, I'm going to keep him targeted. And now he's going to do his... Oh, he's doing the speed. Oh, gotta get away, gotta get away, gotta get away. I didn't think he'd already do that. I'm actually a little surprised, to be honest. But he decided on that one. Great. What an awesome view I get there. That was fantastic. Oh, I was early again. Man, I'm doing really poorly against him. Like, I keep on getting going really early. Now I'm probably going to die. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm going to start from here just to show off that item that I picked up before I forget about it. So let's look at the Rancor call. Sorcery of the Servants of Death. What's going on down here in Stormville, eh? Once thought lost, this ancient death hex was rediscovered by the necromancer Garrus. No, actually, I think this is... I don't know who Garrus is, so that's interesting to me. That's something that I want to find out more about. Who be Garrus? Who he be? 
I don't know if I'm actually able to just skip all those rats and not have them come after me, but I'm hoping that's the case here, and I'm just hoping, so... Yeah, I don't, I don't actually know. By the way, there's a very, very useful wondrous physic tier that you get eventually. That makes it so if you die, you don't lose your runes while it's in effect. So, yeah, I'd really like to get that one again. That one's really nice for when you're just like, eh. I don't want to worry about fighting a boss and losing all your runes and all that, which is most of the time, right? Oh, okay. Now he's doing the flame breath. This is what I thought he was going to do on me before when he decided to curl up and become, like, ultra-powerful kind of earlier than I was expecting. Nice. Wow, what timing. Oh, my God! No, 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 let me get it in, let me get it in! Ah, shit! Okay, okay. That sucked a lot. Alright, well, I guess he decided to glitch on me, so, uh... Hey, I, I didn't choose for this glitch. What is going on? I, okay, come on, bro. Come on. It's okay. You can wake up. I don't want to... I don't want to ruin this for the people who want to watch. I mean, it was pretty lame that you didn't let me do my special on you. I gotta say. I guess it wasn't supposed to do that. Like, those happened at the same time where he had that happen and then the special. That's probably why. Uh, Golden Seed, now I have three, so I should really upgrade since I forgot to last time. I'm sorry the boss fight kind of got ruined by that. Um, I'm sorry. I, I didn't want to just warp away. It's like, So, let's just say I was going to win anyways. <laughs> Stone Sword Key, Throwing Dagger. Uh, I apologize, though. I, I'd rather have like straight-up normal gameplay, so I do apologize for it. Uh, here we have a really awesome thing, and I haven't... This might pertain to the whole death root idea that we were talking about earlier. Because I really haven't determined exactly what this means or what this face is down here. But it could really be the cause of all the roots and everything that we've been finding throughout the castle. The Prince of Death's Postule is by here too. Which is part of what leads to that theory uh, being really interesting. So let me find the Prince of Death's Postule. Uh, is it a... No, it's, hold on. I think it's a talisman, so... Uh, da, da, where is it? There it is. Raises vitality. A fetid postule taken from facial flesh. Hmm. Vitality governs resistance to the effects of death, which is interesting there, since this seems to be death stuff here. Uh, it is said that this postule came from the visage of the Prince of Death. He who used to be called Godwin... Oh. That's interesting, eh? He who used to be called Godwin is the Prince of Death. What? Excuse me? Okay, as first dead of the demigods, it's said he's buried deep under the capital at the Erd Tree's roots. Oh, I forgot about that. He's buried deep under the capital at the Erd Tree's roots? I, mean, I think I know the location they're talking about. That is that's kind of surprising. That if that's what I think that means, that could have some really crazy major lore implications there. Not that it doesn't already, but uh, yeah, that's that's really interesting actually. All right, let's keep on rolling on up. But yeah, so this little this guy right there, that's one of the things that they showed a lot in the intro trailer. Uh, or the first gameplay reveal trailer, they showed that, and they've used that footage since then multiple times, and you know what I just realized, actually, looking at it now? It almost looks like that, see how it goes into the wall? It's almost like a worm's body to me, in the way it looks, and then there's the face, but then it goes back like this giant worm's body. So, yeah, that's actually, that's very, very fascinating, and I really want to discover or figure out exactly what this means. Um... But the fact that it's rooting into the ground does make it seem like the twisted thorns of Stormvale, which are said where people were like, oh, is it Godric? Maybe there's something deeper and darker that going on at the bottom of Stormvale Castle. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what they've been referring to there. All right, so let's see where this now takes me. Wait a second. This isn't going to be the door. I still don't know how to open up that door. 
What the hell? What the hell? <laughs> I don't know how to open the door. I really don't know. Uh, that's that's weird to me that I don't know. And there is that a drop on this at one point. But all that said, uh, let's go ahead and take on Godric, the grafted here. So leveling up. And also you guys told me where Roger goes next, which I somehow never noticed him before. I guess I never went back to that room that he appears in. So we'll talk about that a little bit too, which is nice. All right, so now I can throw off this and see if I can equip a helmet yet. I can't. I can't even put on the marionette soldier helmet, which is four of weight. Why does this weigh so much for bandit mask? Even the crimson hood is too heavy for me. You know what, though? I am carrying the torch. So I get, I'll get. i get rid of the torch and throw on... Uh, might as well be smart and throw on that for Godric. So, all right. There you have uh, Nefeli Lu, her summon sign, but we're not going to use her. And let's watch Godric. Yeah, hurrah, hurrah. I glanced down because I thought I was walking through the mist and noticed that I'd done a gesture by accident. Mighty dragon. Thou art a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Deliver me unto greater heights. Well... A lonely tarnished. Playing as a lord. I command thee, Nilo! I am the lord of all that is golden. Nah, Godric, you're just an imitator. You just want to be. That's why you've been crafting yourself to try to make yourself better, but you're just a lame. Lame, boy. You're a true lame-o. That's like one of the few times I'll actually uh, do a jumping attack. Oh, lucky me. He decided to do this. Oh, God. But I jumped early because it's been a while since I fought him, and I don't remember the timing. So that's cool. Let's give myself, like, the regular healing. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. It's been so long since I fought him that I don't at all remember how, like, slow he goes with his timing for things. All right. So, if I stand a little further away, I should be able to get him just fine. I just... Man. No! Again! As early again. I'm... Oh, my God. I used to be able to just, like, take him out pretty easily. That one I've got no excuse for. That was just lame. All right, everything started off bad, but let's let's fix all that. Here we go. It starts now. Okay, one and two and three and four and five, and that's the hit. All right, hopefully he'll do his roll again and be nice. Thank you. How kind of you, Godric. How kind of you. Again, I'm just playing it uh, safe right now. I thought I didn't get far enough away for a second. Nope. Yeah, I'll just play it safe again. The fact that I'm only going for like one hit typically is me playing it safe. I'm going for two here just because I was being stupid and I was hoping beyond hope that he would decide. Okay, hold on. And there we go. I was hoping that, yeah, that I could get him to the point where I could. Whatever. Let's watch this cutscene.
Who are you trying to impress there? Who are you trying to impress? Because I'm not impressed. You ain't got a key to pre oppressed, impressed, or oppressed. Yeah, I'm getting away from that one just because that ain't a safe one. Uh, I don't remember what he does there, to be honest. Okay, I guess he decided to spew fire at me. That's cool. He does that. All right. Left side I th is usually where I can get away from that one okay. I'm trying to stay kind of close to him because when he spews fire again, I want to be next to him. That's kind of what I'm going for here. Leapies. Okay, go ahead and do your leapies. That's cool with me. Nope, no, no, no. That one was not cool, though. And what you gonna do next? More leapies, okay. Don't know why you're taking so easy on me with the fire, but that's okay with me, I guess. Oh, no, 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 I'm way too close. I am way too close for this. All right, woof. I don't know if the jump saved me, but I'm going to pretend it did. Okay, here we go. The fire here, as long as you get behind him, uh, you should be able to do that a lot better than I just did. I'm screwed. I'm so screwed. I was like, I don't care. I'm just going to heal <laughs> and play it safe at that point. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm going for double attacks here because I keep on hoping that I'll take him, like, make him uh, stagger, but I guess not. I guess no stagger. I am the lord of all that is golden. Yeah, Godric, I don't think you're returning to Lan uh <laughs> I don't think you're returning to Lane Dells. Sorry about that, bro. Remember us of the grafted. So not the best fight against him, and what is going on up there? Man, I am getting some glitches, huh? I guess the pillar decided not to fully fall down. So I'm gonna go ahead and rest and then I'll look at that and look at all this stuff. Alright, so uh I'm going to keep on pumping up some dex, I get, wait, dex, some endurance here. I think with that, I should be able to finally start pumping into strength again. I think, I think now I have enough to, uh, to go full on how I, like, just have my torch equipped and a, a helmet, basically. That, that was my real goal here, but let's find out. Wait, does it say, I am medium load still. Very nice, very nice. Okay. I still want to keep on pumping it up a little bit because this armor, uh, I'm not the biggest fan. Actually, the Exile armor is pretty sick. Banished Knight armor is the only one that's too heavy. Let's try this. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, I'm using this armor. What was I thinking? This armor is way better. Uh, before I go talk to our Gatekeeper boy, let's go ahead and... Uh... Wait, oh, I'm so stupid. I keep on forgetting to do the Golden Seed. I'm sorry. I am sorry about that. Flasks. Uh, add a charge to the flask. Yep. And at this point, now I need three. So I use two, so now I have one left. Uh, okay. Key items here. Uh, if you actually notice, the Great Rune isn't at the top. I think it was originally, and then they they patched that, which freaked me out, because I was looking for my Great Runes at one point and not finding it. It was like after I killed something, and I was like, what the hell? Where did it go? Why didn't it give me a Great Rune? Uh, Godric's Great Rune's down here by the Stone Sword Key. The Great Rune of the Shard Bearer, Godric, devoid of any benediction. Seek the Divine Tower of Limgrave, which stands beyond the Great Bridge from Stormvale Castle. So it gives you a little clue about where to go to find it. Uh, the next thing here is the Remembrance of the Grafted. Remembrance of Godric the Grafted hewn into the Urd Tree. The power of its namesake can be unlocked by the Finger Reader. Alternatively, it can be used to gain a great bounty of runes. We don't know who the Finger Reader is yet, but we're going to find out soon. A feeble man sought power through their grotesque act of grafting. That's kind of what I was saying while I was fighting him, how he used grafting to try to become more powerful. One day we'll return together to our home bathed in rays of gold. Uh, I believe there he is talking about Landell, the capital city. I don't think excuse for a lord you were <laughs> craven to the bone pushing me about like that and after all that grafting where did that get you look down on me would you godric you filthy slug feel it feel it 
feel my bloody wrath. I love this detail. It's so funny to me. Oh. Hello there. This weasel was... Godric was always looking down on me. He got what he bloody deserved thanks to you. I tell you though, what goes around comes around. He had an ugly heart, an uglier countenance, and met the ugliest of ends, eh? <laughs> I'm glad you're having a great time. Now, I suppose I'm free. I can do whatever takes my fancy. <laughs> can I, mate? Yeah, and to be honest, I actually haven't uh, gotten him to move from here yet in my own game, so that's something I'm still trying to figure out is that quest line. Uh, I'm going to keep on moving forward here for the time being. I, I feel like there's got to be something going on here, though, that's going to happen, because see how that gold appeared? I think that's what means that you can't attack and it's a peaceful place. I can't attack anything, and there's probably going to be some new lord who comes into play since you can't attack in this area and... I'm assuming NPCs get here at some point or come here, but now I am the Lord. I am the Lord of the castle. I am going to go do the gold, uh, the great rune. First, I'm just going to keep on uh, finishing up this part, the backside of the castle here. And then we'll continue on. Uh, yeah, so basically, main thing here is just to the back end. We're going to find an interesting item. Shabriri's grape? Oh, it's Shabriri's. Oh, okay. Uh, Shabriri's an interesting character. Oh, uh, you find out about way later in the game. A yellowing oozy eyeball of the infirm. The surface is shriveled and the inside is squishy, not unlike a large, overly ripe grape. Give to the blind maiden to guide her to the distant light. Maiden, dear maiden, where are you? Please take my grapes. I like how they call eyeballs grapes. <laughs> Anyways, um, the Maiden actually appears right here at this site of grace that we're coming up to. And now we have reached Liurnia. We're not Liurnia of the Lakes. It has happened. Bam. And one of the first trailer footage is uh, that right there. So now we got that. And once I rest here at this site of grace, it's actually going to unlock Bach right next to me. So I'll go ahead and show that. And there you have Bach. And yeah, the maiden appears right over here, but I don't know what triggers her appearing, honestly. And then I'm not sure where she goes Good yet. To see you, Master. Do you uh, remember me? The Bach, the demi-human. You helped me before and retrieved my sewing needle. Please, Master, allow me to serve you as your seamster. I can't make nothing from scratch, but I'm happy to make adjustments to your garments. Master, I was wondering, do you ever make adjustments to your garb yourself? I would, well, rather you let me do the job when possible, please. I don't ask anything in return, you know, and, well, I am your personal seamster after all. So the nice thing about Bach is it actually doesn't cost money to alter the garbs through him, whereas if you don't do it through God, uh, Bach, it does cost some runes not many but it's free with oh, him uh, please do and i think that's all he has to say to right it. now for us oh, and yeah, yeah again please. if i rest here the maiden's not going to appear so all right uh we are good for now here now that i've done that let's go ahead and and yeah you can see where uh that is right there Wait a second. I might have to change something. Anyways, uh, I was just thinking about a guide I made where I was talking about where this was, and I'm realizing I thought it was, like, along here, but I guess it's a little off to the left there. So, hold on a second. Let me... Actually, I'm, I need to check this out for my own sake. Why did I unequip this? I don't remember. I guess there's something I equipped instead. Please don't be down this way. Oh, wait, it's it's not. Okay, that was the main thing I wanted to make sure, was that, like, you can't get it from up here. 
Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's go. This is just for my video. I'm like, did I just screw up like a big time on that? So, while I, I'm going to have to figure out what I missed in Stormvale Castle, the two spots and where they are, because I still haven't opened that door. But until then, what I'm going to do is at least go activate the Great Rune. Uh, so that's what I'm going to take care of right now. So we do have to go back into Stormvale in this section, which I didn't finish before. And yeah, unfortunately I can't take care of that guy up there, but that's okay. We'll take care of these ones. And... Did I miss that guy? Is he dead right there? When did that happen? How did that happen? I don't remember that at all. Huh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so now we don't have quite as many of these guys shooting down on us, which is nice. And yeah, now I can go up here and take out people on this route. And honestly, um, I don't think you really need to do this. I'm going to, but I don't. It's not like a necessity. I don't think. And there's gonna be a wolf up there. We're gonna take out. But first, I'm gonna get a sight of grace before I do that, just to play it safe. So, yeah. Hey, he's got the Crescent Axe. Very nice. Good choice. Good choice. Alright, if I go through up here, those guys are going to murder my face. I can try to run up the left cliff, but I don't remember there being any specific reason to. I guess unless you can jump up. You know what? I'm going to grab the Sight of Grace, and then I'll check it out. Um, let me do that first. Because now I'm curious. I don't know why they're attacking me. I'm just one of them. I'm one of the boys. Yeah, and that, that wolf we're going to come right back to, so give me a moment, please. Let me just get this. This is going to be the Divine Tower path. But you don't know anything about that yet. We'll figure it out. We'll find out way more about it in a moment. Don't even worry about it or think about it. You saw nothing. All right, where did the wolf go? No, really, though, where did... Where did the wolf go? Okay. Oh, there he is. All right, all right. Oh my god. Oh yeah, that's right. I, I forgot that I stunned him with this. Granted, it doesn't matter that much because he leaps away right away after the attack. So it's not like you get like a big boon by being able to uh, stagger him. I, actually, if anything, I think it's actually worse for this guy. want to use my other one so I can get some uh... oh god yeah that was really bad timing on my part okay I am not I was doing fine until that one hit I mean man he was so slow with it two like I got no one to blame but me I'm gonna go for the two here yeah yeah you can see again or you can see what I was talking about, where, like, that's the problem with this weapon, is it's so slow. Sometimes you can't get multiple hits in, and it probably actually does less damage, even if you get the stagger. Somber Smithing Stone 1, Beast Blood, and Old Fang for defeating him. Uh, he's not necessary to defeat. I don't know if we've gotten Beast Blood before or Old Fang, so I guess I'll take a look at those. Beast Blood we actually have. Uh, found by Hunter and Carnivorous Beasts. And by the way, this guy stays dead, so you don't have to worry about him once you take him out. And Old Fang, these multiple overlapping fangs grow from a single root. Perhaps they're a vestige of the primordial crucible. Uh, this is probably a really bad idea to do this, but you know what? That's okay. I'm curious. I actually tried this in the uh, network test, and it didn't really help with anything, which is why I wasn't going to try it again. Or I never tried it. I should say why I never tried it again. No. Oh, crap. Okay. You ass! Oh, ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate this spot so much. Anyways, that's, uh... Ah! <laughs> The guys shooting at me are the worst. But I, I want to see where that spot leads to. So I'm going to try one more t time. And there's an herba there that I'm not going to worry about. Okay, anyways. Let's go this way and let's go this way. And hey, alright. I had actually never been up here before. 
Arbalist. Sick. Let's check it out. It's gonna be here. What was I what was I thinking? Large crossbow made from composite materials, one of the largest of all bolt firing devices. Its limbs are more pliable than metallic ones, allowing bolts fired from this weapon to pierce even helms forged of steel. Yeah, that's pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. All right, uh, and now we're going to keep on working our way up that way, I suppose. At least we have one less thing to deal with. One less, not all of them. I probably should have looked at the side, but I don't think that this is the correct... Yeah, because this is the side that I was, like, over before. So it would seem that the Rampart Tower would drop me down to where I wanted to go. Somewhere near it, right? But, uh... Oh, oh, no, 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 I went the wrong way. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Run away, Kita, run away! You must run this way. That? Okay. I'm glad I took out that guy, though, so I don't have to worry about him. Hey, here we go. Here's where that one is, and... How did he die? What the hell? All right. Uh, lucky me, I guess. I was wondering why I wasn't getting shot up more. Trino's the lily, and it looks like that's everything up here for this spot, to me. I mean, I'll get the herba, but I don't think there's anything else in this spot. Hmm. Uh, that was much ado about not much. <laughs> Alright, I mean, I could have dropped down here from the other spot to take care of them. I've already taken care of those guys. You see me do it. So I don't feel too much need to... And, uh, yeah, that's that's this path. That was fun, though. It sure was fun. Well, since all of them are taken care of, I guess I'll f quickly warp to, uh, to my Sight of Grace. Wh oh, there I can. Okay, I was like, why can't I? Why can't I? The Limgrave Tower Bridge. I don't think I have enough to level up. I'm pretty sure I still need quite a bit more for the level up, but, uh, let's see. Yeah. I'm starting to get to that point. Now, to be honest, I don't think I've done much. I think I did look for things here, but not too deeply. Voltrake Talisman, uh, you already know the what these guys are. But we'll look at this one anyways real quick. So, just another one of these versions, but this one's for lightning damage. So, there you go. And you, while you can go here earlier, uh, you really shouldn't until you get Godric's um, Great Rune, because honestly, it's kind of a waste of time. You're going to run over there, find a wall you can't, or wall, a door you can't open, and then have to make a return trip, basically. Because I don't think there's any Sight of Grace. So... Do not do this until after Godric, is what I'm trying to s tell you. Oh. Why'd you do that? Why'd you do that to me? I'm gonna get your still beating heart for that. Nice. Yeah, this is like Golem way here. Oh my god, flame, flame, ah, Jesus. Wait, why did, did that just make him collapse doing that flame breath on me? I, that's interesting. Wow. These guys, oh my god, oh! Might have been the archer, I didn't even know the archer could kill him. I love that his archer bro just took him out. <laughs> Whoops. Aw, oh, I was trying to use the, uh, I was trying to use that to block it. You can actually, if he hits this, it kind of like guards it for you. Which I'll show off right now. Yeah, so that's just like a nice way to not have to worry when you run to him. Yeah, these guys are much easier when they have the uh, archery equipment. You need to fall. Actually, I guess it doesn't really matter. I'll just take you out here. Take you out from the feetsies. And guess what? Now I can level up just from that. And, all right, now we actually can run down here and look for things. I think there's an item. Yeah, there we go. So, it is a warming stone. Great. <laughs> cool. Sick. 
and I think that's every item along this part of the bridge. Uh, I actually, I haven't warped yet, have I, through one of these? So there are these throughout the game that will warp you to other locations. Uh, it doesn't always warp you somewhere close by. Sometimes you really have no idea where it's going to warp you to. So this one's going to take us all the way over here. And actually, something I'd like to do is I'm going to mark it on my map. I think it's right there. So I'm going to put it there so we know that there's a warp there. And uh, next, I'm going to go ahead and go back this way because there are a couple items this way. And more birds! Granted, these birds aren't as hard, but more birds! They don't have the sword feet. <laughs> like the worst birds of all time. Sword feet birds. Why? Why? Why you gotta do that to me, Miyazaki? Why? Alright, flight pinion and... Silver Pickled Foul Foot. I guess that makes sense, being that we're by some birds. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay. I don't... There we go. I was like, I don't think you can fall. Stormhawk Feather there. I thought there was actually a more interesting item on one of these Rampart things. I thought? Uh, ooh. Maybe I was wrong. Well, at least you guys got to see what it was, I guess. I really thought that there was something else along here. Oh well. <laughs> que sera sera. Nothing there. All right, and we find our first divine tower. It looks like it's kind of falling apart. Oh hey, something there. Yeah, I thought there was a talisman. So I really it's throwing me off that there's no talisman. I really thought there was a talisman there. But hey, if I if not. If I messed up and there is one, and I just for some reason didn't see it, then uh, at least it's easy to warp back here, because there's a warp up there at the top of the Divine Tower. So this door right here is going to be sealed unless you have Godric's Golden Rune. Very specifically, Godric's Golden Rune. Or Great Rune, excuse me, I'm calling it Golden Rune. Uh, his Great Rune. Which has no power in it yet. But we're about to activate that power, so... Let's do that, eh? And this is a pretty cool lift up, if I do say so myself. You know, honestly, I was planning on going back and doing a bunch of lore stuff at Roundtable Hold, but it looks like we're not going to have time. So, but at least Stormville is pretty much complete. There's that, the two things I have to figure out how to do. Like, going to find that door opening that I never found. And then getting that drop that I for somehow missed that I have done in the past. I just don't know, don't know where it went. So I'll have to find that again. Uh, okay, so here we have another Site of Grace here. I honestly don't know, again, why there's one here. Because, honestly... You're... Hold on, let me raise up my strength. But, honestly... It's pretty... I, I can't see a reason you're going to warp back here. Ever. Uh, yeah, I just don't know why you would. So, by the way, what you see here are more of these... I, Divine Towers. So that's the Divine Tower of Caled that we see in front of us right there. Uh, because Caled is to the east. So if you look at my arrow, it's pointing right into Caled. And then this one is in the middle of the water. So how are you going to get to that one? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out. And you can actually see another Divine Tower right there. Straight ahead in that region. Uh, which looks like it's like close to Lane Dell. And the Divine Bridge. It's like in that region. But yeah, so we can actually start seeing more of these Divine Towers. Which is pretty sick. Okay. And, hey! What's that? Two fingers! Two fingers! And they got in between them the activated, restore the power of the Great Rune. And the Great Runes are the fragments of the, uh... They're the fragments of the Elden Ring. So that's what these runes are. When the Great Shattering happened. So now we got Godric's one. Godric's Great Rune is going to give us some lore. So, a Great Rune of the Shardbearer Godric. Uh, the, 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 this Great Rune is known as the Anchor Ring, found in the center of the Elden Ring. The first demigods were the Elden Lord Godfrey and his offspring, the Golden Lineage. 
and I guess I'll just go ahead and warp right back here for now. All I'm going to do is I'm going to equip the Great Rune, and that's going to wrap me up, because the Great Runes are pretty sick in that you can actually equip them, and they give you uh, boons. So this one, you can see a Great Rune of the Sharbear Godric. It, its blessing raises all attributes. So, yeah, pretty awesome. With the, with the Great Rune menu, you can equip Great Runes that have their, had their power restored. So you specifically have to have their power restored. You can use a Rune Arc to give even greater benefits to your great runes so that's an item that we're going to find um i was going to see if it showed me exactly how much my attributes get erased so right now i'm at uh hold on let me look at this i actually been trying to 15 10 24 15 10 24 all right and now we are at it still shows that, so I don't know which attributes it raises, actually. But it's good! It's good. We got it. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, that's gonna wrap me up. Thank you guys so much for joining. Uh, pretty nice to beat Godric first try. I actually wasn't expecting that. I thought it would take me a few tries just to get back into the rhythm of him. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Although, the, I don't know why the tree spear broke on me, but hey, I guess it happens. <laughs> I guess. And yeah, thank you guys so much for joining. I appreciate it. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys. Hey. Peace.